Hi everyone, good afternoon. So, today we are going to continue and uh, maybe finish uh, the humankind game I started last week. I am only 106 turns away from the end, uh, probably less than that. Uh, however, I am at war with the biggest AI right now, so the battles could still take a significant time. We'll see. So the goal is to take as much as I can from him, because he did accumulate quite a bit of fame. I do have most of the strategic resources I'll need, and we just took more from here. And for anyone who wasn't here, my last culture before this one was the Argentinians from the new DLC. And uh, this is what I got from them. One of the things I got from them. Plus 112 stability in all cities. And a minus 56% army upkeep. And then I still haven't unlocked their unit, but it's coming up soon. Uh, right here. It's a pretty damn good one, actually. And I do have the resources, so we'll give it a shot. The first attack in the battle from this unit will also apply suppression to the target. That is quite nice. Alright, so right now I'm cranking out some mortars to get more firepower. And I got a few arms factories queued up. Arms factories are actually a really good synergy with salted beef here from Argentinians. Because I get a lot of extra stability from this. And then I need to sacrifice some stability uh, to get arms factories. It's minus 10 stability for each one, but also more combat strength. Which means I can afford to build 10 and uh, I will still have a net stability gain from salted beef. It's a pretty good synergy. Wait, what? Oh, he wants white peace. Uh, sorry, bro, that's not why I started this war. I have a different idea here. So I do have an alliance with the Inca here. He's my other neighbor. Which means I don't have to worry about him too much. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, more mortars waiting in the back. So let's merge these. Okay, this should be some nice extra firepower, especially combined with arms factories. We can probably just keep going. Yep. Just go straight east. That works. What's his ward support? 72, so we still have a lot of time. Oh yeah, and I can claim uh, Ward Wonder. A plus 10% to all yields except science. Sounds good to me. A bit expensive, but I think it's worth it. It might have to wait a little bit because I want to get at least a few arms factories first. Before we start building that. You know, for the combat bonus. Yep, that's him. These winged hazards are actually really annoying, because when they attack you, uh, you don't retaliate. I mean, instant resolution should be fine here. Yep. Okay, these three stacks should be more than enough. But he did technically slow me down here. More mortars. Uh, okay, I suppose I can start building the one there already. Is there a mountain here? Where's some mountain? It's placeable, so there has to be one somewhere. Oh yeah, here. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It can be whatever. So, there's Flintlock uh, that unlocks the Musketeers. And the next up, I got Carmine queued up. And then a military coordination. I got the resources for all that. And then line formation. And after that, we'll see. I might just go directly for Trench Warfare, but I'll have to get oil first. We'll see when we get there. I have a lot of text to get in the upper part of the tree. I'm nowhere close to combustion engine. Anyway, uh, how much gold do I have? 40,000. Okay, let's just upgrade all of these guys. That is a significant upgrade. From 48 to 58, basically. And there you go. One more stack. That will cost me like 10,000. Alright, let's keep moving. It might be good to leave some defenses behind in the city. A mortar and some other units will probably be enough. Yep. Most likely. Okay, this is just for defenses. He'll have to come from the east anyway, so it doesn't matter. He'll run into my army one way or the other. So first, let's remove this administrative center. And then I can claim the region myself. So that will take three turns. Because I want to take as much of his territory as possible, while paying as little war score as possible. Uh, okay. Then let's help with the wonder a little. Plus 15 stability, plus 25 gold, plus 25% faith. Uh, okay, stability is fine. Oh, and by the way, I, I mentioned this uh, on Twitch already, but I think I decided what I'm going to do with streams. Oh, uh, hold that thought. Uh, that is a bigger stack. Uh, he has musketeers as well, all right. Okay, okay. All right, let's kick his ass. Oh, no, he will not fight me. Uh, I guess I can't blame him. But now he will have to. He's trying to defend his administrative center. Okay, this should be fairly one-sided. Especially since I got a bunch of mortars already. So keep them in the back. Obviously. And these guys can be in the back as well. And all the musketeers in the front. There you go. Yeah, this should be fairly one-sided. Okay, so first... Let's use the mortars. They will be even stronger once I build a bunch of arms factories. And one down. <laughs> nice. Oh, instant kill. Uh, oh, high ground. Right. I do have high ground from this position. Uh, that explains the insta kill. Yeah, check out the difference uh, seven points make. So this is a seven point difference. My guy has 67 total. Uh, he has 50 total. Okay, here my guy has 63 and he has 57. 
So this is the difference a few combat modifiers make. Massive difference. Okay, move up here. Yeah, finish him off. Go where he was. Now, unfortunately, musketeers can only either move or attack. And they can't do both, which is fine. Here you go. I can pretty much surround him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he stands a chance here. I think this might be over in a single turn. Okay, this time I actually had low ground here. Uh, let's back up. And he used my fortifications, which is a little bit rude. Wait, what? Are you seeing this shit up here? You need title really long. What? <laughs> is that like a placeholder name for a fortification or something? What the heck is happening here? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit weird. You need title really long. Okay, sure. Why not? That is a little bit weird. Okay, back attack. One down. Okay. Go up here. I block the way just in case he gets any silly ideas. Hi everyone, joining chat. Yeah, these winged hazards are still quite strong. Okay, let's back up here. Okay, grab the flag. I think that's pretty much it. I'll technically need one more turn. Oh wait, hold on, maybe not. If this is enough damage, maybe not. It's not enough damage. Okay, now it is. My knight can finish the job. Nice. No need for an extra turn. Oh wait, he still has more units somewhere. Okay, never mind. No, there. We got it. And that's a militarist era star right away, nice. Now let's keep pillaging this. So that's two more turns to ransack. Another mortar. Man, it's really hot here today and yesterday, and my GPU does not like that. Not even one bit. Okay, I suppose I can back up a little and heal myself here. Might as well. Okay, one more turn. Oh yeah, yeah, so uh, I will continue to do uh, streams on YouTube from time to time, uh, but when I do, 
or let me rephrase that. If or when I stream on YouTube, it's going to be roughly a, in hours like today. So roughly when peak hours are on YouTube. So anywhere between around 4 p.m. Central European time and midnight, uh, which is like 10 a.m. Eastern uh, to maybe like 8 p.m. Eastern, not later than that because I sleep like a normal person these days. And on Twitch, I will probably stick to early morning streams. Again, my European time. So uh, the logic behind that is that I'm sure there are a lot of people who would simply not be able to watch a stream at, let's say, 10 a.m. European time because they're sleeping. It's 3 a.m. where they live and they're sleeping. So I figured it's best if I keep those like on one specific platform. And since I'm sleeping like a normal person now, I will definitely stream in the morning or early afternoon my time because that's when I'm around. It won't be every day, like not even close. I will still be doing normal videos. I'm just strictly talking about streaming now. All right, I got five weapons now, so that's plus five combat strength on each unit at the cost of 50 stability, but I'm still getting a 60 toe from salted beef. And I will probably come up with some kind of schedule. And not just yet, I'm still figuring out what's going to work best. But I will likely come up with some kind of schedule eventually. And when I do, I'll let everyone know. All right, he's coming again. Okay, uh, we pillaged his administrative center. Now we can get ours. And uh, this looks good. Okay, so let's start that really quick and then attack him. Here, that should work nicely. I expect him to run. Yep. Okay, so this will take... No, already got it. Heal up. Let's see if I can catch him. Uh, no, but here's another administrative center. We can start around sucking that. Oh, no, yeah, I can catch him. Nice. Now he can't run anymore, since he can't do it more than once per turn. All right, then. Okay, I'll need to move closer. We can move in, good. Maybe this way. With that said, he also has musketeers himself. So he does have roughly the same unit as I do. However, he doesn't have mortars. So that's my advantage right now. In we go. <laughs> What's up with this unit's title really long? Like, that is really weird. It's almost like a placeholder. Now I'm not sure if that was always there. But it should say, like, fortifications or something like that? I don't know. And got the flag. Oh, 
Okay, done. Alright, three turns to run Sagdes, and then we can attack the city. Yep. Where is his actual capital right now? Oh yeah, right here. Eh, that's not super far away, I could probably take that. I can also just go to war more than once. Alright, that's probably enough mortars. Okay, let's finish the wonder, because that's plus 10 to everything except science. Okay, two more turns. I guess I can just attack this city right away. Bring everything. Okay, let's maybe attach this. Oh no, I can't yet. I'll have to actually finish the war and claim the city. And then I can attach something. Alright, that's fine. Wait, can I actually siege it? Okay, yes, I can. Right here. Chop, chop. Okay, this should be fairly one-sided. Uh, he has the draftees, uh, that's fine. Because eventually the home guard unit is ranged. So I'll watch out for that. The ranged home guard key is quite a bit more dangerous. Okay, as usual, mortars in the back. Okay, good enough. Yeah, this won't take long. <laughs> One down already. In we go. And in we go again. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit one-sided right there. Unless he gets some kind of reinforcements. It seems unlikely, yep. Alright, another era star. How's his war support? Ten. So after a Bolivar update, you don't have to uh, force surrender once his war support reaches zero, but you will get a stability penalty that will increase over time, if you continue the war while your opponent is at zero war support. <laughs> he wants white piece? Yeah, I don't think I want white piece when you're about to lose. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Alright then. So I could just end it and then go to war again a little bit later. Uh, but let's wait to at least remove this administrative center. And what else? There's one over here, I can probably get that too. And not on this turn. Okay. Yeah, let's just chill for one turn. There's no huge rush. This will already hurt him quite a lot. Hmm. 
Min uh, minus 30 gold, plus 35 science for 10 turns. Sure. Okay, there's Carbine. So now I can get... Uh, that was an Argentinian unit. I don't think uh, the knight will upgrade, will he? Actually, yeah. Okay, nice. So I got one right away. 60 strength. I do have a plus one bonus movement, so now he will have seven. Four range. And the first attack will cause the target to be suppressed. Uh, so, okay, uh, this is pillaged. Let's start our own administrative center. Uh, 16 and 17 is good. Alright. So I could still get another right here. I suppose I could. Just to get as much land as we possibly can. I don't think there's a lot he will be able to do about it. So can we see that penalty somewhere? Hold on. A minus 60 from war weariness. Okay, so... That's a pretty harsh penalty. Perhaps. How long will this take? Uh, three turns. So let's see how much it's going to increase. Right now it's minus 60. Uh, let's see what is going to be on the next turn. I still have a lot of surplus stability in most of my cities, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, that will not speed up the wonder at all. Okay, I don't want to spam arms factories too much because that stability can backfire pretty quickly. Okay, looking good. He's not coming or anything. So let's check stability now. Okay, now it's minus 90. So it's minus 30 per turn. Okay, that's pretty harsh. So really, you can only extend the war by a few turns. Meaning it's mostly useful for when you were about to take something, but your opponent hit zero war stability. I mean, zero war support. So previously you were forced to end the war right before you took, let's say, another city or uh, ransacked another admin center. Now you can wait another turn or two or three. Uh, definitely not for too long, because that's a pretty big penalty. So this city has 30 surplus. Yeah, okay, this one is already uh, going towards 40%. So probably one more turn so that I can finish ransacking. Where was it? Right here. Okay, two more turns to finish ransacking. Let's do that. I can afford two more turns. I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah, that should be okay. And we'll see how much we can take as a result. Okay, two more turns to finish the wonder. A 4% surplus. Yeah, let's just get another garrison or so. Maybe on the eastern border here. You never know, that might come in handy. Okay, one more turn. Yep, one more turn. Also, I can still build one more holy site. Uh, meaning I could just do it here. Yep. It doesn't really matter where exactly. But it will help the stability in this city. Okay, one more turn and then we'll finish it.
Minus 20,000 gold. What? Okay, plus 25 stability. Okay, wow, I got 40% deficit in here. Uh, that is pretty harsh. Uh, yeah, let's work on some garrison really quick. And that shouldn't take too long. Uh, I don't need one more turn though. I don't really want to pay 20,000 gold. That's a bit too much, in my opinion. Just saying. They also have a food deficit. So I suppose we're going for the third option. Okay, and this might actually give me more strength. You know, I need a little bit more, and then we'll get an extra plus one combat strength. Okay, one more turn. There, now we're done. Yep, now we can peace out. First, just grab our own outpost really quick. There we go, done. So, let's see how much we can take. Uh, how bad is it now? Yeah, minus 150 stability from war worthiness. Yeah, 30 per turn is a lot. Okay, so let's see. Let us speak honestly with each other. Uh, oh, he's uh, proposing the terms. Wait, what? I don't think I want to accept that. I want to choose my own terms. So, let's see now. What was what? And that's a pretty long list. Axum, so obviously that. Then right here. Okay, that's all the stuff I captured and I'm currently holding. Oh, that's already more uh, ward score than I have. Right. That's a bit inconvenient. So I don't want to give up this area because it has oil. Free oil just in this one single territory. So obviously I want that oil. I might have to give up the city, which is probably not a big deal. I guess it's not a big deal. Can't say I'm a big fan of that, but we can always take it later. I suppose it's okay. I can still attach all the other territories. Okay, so let's say we give that up. Yeah, that's 207 out of 207, which means that's basically it. I can't get anything else here. Wait, no. Hold on. What's this? Elnat, right here. Is this a bug? No, it's a visual bug, right? Because it's not changing. Let me try this again. This number down here is supposed to be changing, but it's not. For whatever reason. Just these two are. 
So this is my remaining war score, regardless of what this says. This number down here is fake news. Okay, so I want Aksom and Al Nasil, or Ar Nasil, whatever. And then we can take one more territory that's not a city. Yeah, I got 68 left and this would cost me 80, so that's too much. So if I take Elnath, I would still be able to attach it and almost surround his one remaining city, which is kind of hilarious. What else can we take? Okay, that's the only extra territory I can take. All right, I think I can live with that. This is fine, accept. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's some border gore. <laughs> this is border gore humankind edition. That's literally what it is. So with that said, I'll have to attach all of that to Axum. Hopefully it can get enough stability. And hopefully I actually have enough influence. So right here, 1000. Okay. 2,830. Okay. Yeah, I still have a large surplus here. And 4,000. Yeah, okay, that is a lot of stability. But I guess that's fine. You know, the funny thing is... Next time I go to war, I can just attack his capital right away. I am now bordering his capital. Straight up. Okay, so uh, 9 pop in Axum. Uh, let's grab a garrison over here so that I'll be able to recruit units closer to his capital. So extra policy. Production first. Uh, yeah, then probably Ford. Well, I won't be working anything else yet until we get more pop. I have a large Ford surplus. My gold looks fine. So production, science, gold, food. That looks good to me. Okay. Uh, Right, I don't want to spam too many arms factories here. How many do we have? We got five at the moment. So what's my worst stability city? I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. I can afford at least one more for sure. Again, don't want to go overboard with this. Okay, plus nine science is hardly worth it. Fifty-seven percent stability surplus. Fifty-nine surplus. Yeah, I have a large surplus in most cities. Laventa. Okay, Laventa needs a hamlet or so. Uh, possibly more than one. Okay, that will do. So, I need another excuse to go to war. <laughs> yep, he's oppressing my people. He's definitely doing that. Clearly. I mean, does anyone have any doubts that he's oppressing my people? Fairness must be restored. Declare war right away. Uh, yeah? This is an outrage. Uh, this might be a bit awkward, uh, but... <laughs> he said how this is an outrage. Damn right it is. 
Well, hi, if we can just go to war again, then we will. It's just a bit awkward because we have almost no war support. It's kind of funny. But hey, he started, right? You saw it, he started. Okay, can I even attack right here? I can attack the city. Yep. Uh, he has some units here. I was planning to attack them, but I'm a little bit out of range. Okay, let's just attack the city. They might end up defending the city, and then my other units should be able to join the party. Yeah, he will be joining one way or the other. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do it this way. And that is going to be a lot of units. Some more tarts back here or so. Okay, that looks fine to me. I can actually block this tile. Oh, I had one more mortar I didn't move. Okay, so let's block this tile. Uh, not this one, I guess. Actually, yeah, this one as well, good. That way he will not be able to deploy. And I can actually just enter and then do a back attack. Nice. I can deploy directly into the city. Okay, I don't think that should be possible. I don't think this is actually intended. I don't know, maybe. Just seems a little bit weird. That I can move a unit that's not actually deployed yet straight into the city. Okay, that's mostly mortars. I don't think I want to deploy them. Probably not, no. In we go. Uh, that's a bit of a one-sided fight. Just a little bit. Another one down, and I can get the flag. Bye bye. <laughs> well, these were mostly home guards. All home guards. I didn't exactly expect them to do much. Well, I need one extra turn. Uh-oh, yep, I'm going to need one extra turn. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, yep, we're done. That didn't take long. I don't think I can do anything else here. I already moved. And nope. White piece. <laughs> we just started, bro. Wait, why can I not refuse? Okay, now that's definitely a bug that I can't refuse. Oh, because I don't have five war support, so I can't refuse. Really? Your proposal. Okay, uh, that's a bit odd. <laughs> That was a very short war. That was actually kind of funny. That was the weirdest war I had, like, ever in this game. But alright. I couldn't refuse because I didn't have war score. And I didn't have war score because we started this war with basically no war score on either side. Yeah, very weird.
Well, it's fine. We can just go to war again later. Another era star. Okay, I can still kick his ass while he's in my territory. That's right, run away. So, uh, how's Axon doing? I need to build this up a little bit. Maybe I'll spend some gold. Oh yeah, and we can hook up the resources, definitely. Uh, I don't want that garrison, so continue with that. I need to move my mortars. Yeah, he won the war by losing. Pretty much. Okay, plus 18 science, that's good. A new wonder can be claimed. Do I want another wonder? Uh, yeah, okay, maybe. Yes, I do, actually. More yields for everyone. Yep. Okay, more yields for everyone. I'll take it. Definitely. This is fine. Alright, let's just speed that up a little. Uh, maybe not here. I need a hamlet. Plus 10 gold on territories if territories follow foreign religion. Well, I don't want that minus 50 stability penalty, so whatever. Okay, so next, I definitely don't need more food. We got a garrison over here now. I can grab a bunch of units. A 180% surplus stability. Okay, that's a lot. Not going to be a problem. I can't get more production at the moment. Uh, let's just get another unit or two. And then again, I wanted the city to get more pop. I can recruit stuff elsewhere. Yeah, we can recruit elsewhere, actually. Oh yeah, also, I can upgrade my mortars now. Heck, let's improve fortifications. He might actually attack that city again. Oh no, I can't upgrade the mortars. Uh, I thought that they upgrade, but apparently not. Uh, with that said, there might be some merit to keeping mortars, because mortars have indirect fire. Which sometimes is highly preferred. Yeah, I think I'll actually keep them. Indirect fire is a little bit more valuable than a higher combat strength for me right now. And I'm getting a significant combat strength bonus uh, from arms factories, so... I'd rather keep the ability to fire over obstacles without line of sight. Plus 10 stability, plus 5 food... Okay, most of these are a bit irrelevant. Oh, really? 
Minus 20,000 gold. Minus 25 stability. What? Okay, uh, that's not great, but whatever. Stability is fine, but 20,000 gold is a lot. There's a line infantry. And also, now I'll have entrenching, which is a significant bonus. That is one of the biggest bonuses in like mid late game. Let's see how much that's going to cost me. Okay, well over 1,000 per unit. But that is a huge upgrade. Because not only line infantry is stronger, but they don't have move or attack anymore. So definitely want all of that. Just don't bankrupt myself while I'm at it. Can I make any demands here? Yes, I can. Solve the wounds you caused. Uh, okay, I would need to declare war right away again. And also, he's no Brazilians. Okay, whatever. I do have 24 war support now, so I should be fine. But I can't attack right away because I just upgraded my units. <laughs> so... Wait, no, I can actually. I could probably just go for his capital right away. I can take both with two different armies. Yep. Okay, let's get his capital. I'm close enough to attack it. Go, go, go. Okay, still drafties. I'm pretty sure he doesn't stand a chance. Now that I got the line infantry. Unless he gets it as well. But he would have to get it quickly. Okay, this is fine. Bring it on. One down. Back attack. Another back attack. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty one-sided now. He does still have some decent units. But it's not going to be good enough. Did he just kill himself on my unit? Yeah, he did. Okay, I was hoping that will be enough damage. So let's back up with the wounded dudes. Like so. Now move in. Okay, this is all good. Yep, it's a massacre, more or less. Are you dead yet? Done. Okay, plus 28, wow. Okay, that's a lot. That is a lot. Holy crap. Because now it scales uh, with like how many units you killed and or lost. But plus 28 from one fight is a lot. Uh, this war will be over pretty soon. And it only just started. 
And there's some uranium over here. I like that. So now we can take Sirmium. I guess so. Might as well. That should also be quite one-sided here. But I don't have as many units, so let's be careful. Nice try, bro. Plus 14. And it wasn't even much of a fight. Okay, he will be almost at zero. No, he will be at zero on the next turn already. Minus 42 from units lost. And it was all mostly a garrison. Well, too bad for him. I'm very sad for him. Uh, okay, so siege artillery. Again, I would need oil for that. Uh, which means I need to get all the tags required for combustion engine here. I suppose most of them will be cheap at this stage. So it's not a big deal. Okay, I guess it's not a big deal. Wait, where's movable typeface? Uh, right here. Right. Yeah, so first we'll get steam engine, which will unlock coal. I definitely want that. And I might actually utilize the train stations as well, we'll see. And already done. <laughs> okay, that was a very short war. Uh, can I take anything else? Yes, probably. There's a city up here, Carthage. I can take that. Okay, let's take that then. Since I'm already here. I might let him live once I'm done with him. I would still like to get some nukes uh, before this game is over. I do have all of the resources required for them. And then some. Okay, he's getting massacred. That is pretty bad. Keep in mind that uh, I don't have bonus from arms factories, which is making all my units quite a bit stronger. Okay, now we can finish it. I suppose I could technically still wait a turn or two. I would just have to deal with that minus 30 uh, stability per turn. But one more turn might be okay. We must rise above our petty differences. And no refuse. I'm sorry, but no deal is better than a bad deal. I would like to get a more world score. Okay, let's wait one more turn. I think that's fine. Uh, so, let's grab a quick line infantry here. For Axum. One more turn. Agrarian star, all right. And I got some achievement. Oh yeah, for like 12 agrarian stars. What was that exactly?
What is it supposed to be here? And no. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, how's our fame now? Okay, uh, he did hoard a lot of fame. Which is the main reason I'm attacking him. Oh wait, this isn't an actual city, is it? No, I already took it. <laughs> My bad, I'm taking things too quickly. I'm lo losing track of what I already took and what I didn't. Come on, slackers, more cities to take. All right. In we go. I killed more than half of his defenders already. Okay, there we go. So, another one. And there's some oil up here. There's oil here. Yeah, I will have a lot of oil once we're done with this. And maybe I can take Napata, but he has a unit on the way. Which means I probably can't. He has a stack down here. Okay, I assume he will run away here. Right, let's see what we can take. Terribly sorry. We will get 5,400 gold. Okay, so Kerma. And that's the one. So I don't think I want all three cities. I just took some of them for war score. I obviously want to keep his capital, so we will take that. Aremon. Which one is that? I have no idea. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, probably want to keep that. Okay, I could extend my territory a lot. I could have a direct border with pink down here. Interesting. We will also split him in half. Okay, 20 remaining war score, that's not enough for anything else. I think this is good. So I will pass on the other cities. Do I want to pass on them? That's 80. Yeah, okay, I would have to give up two territories. Yeah, this is fine, they can exist, it's not really a big deal. Okay, yeah, this is good, I think. So I will take all of this. Not the three cities to the north, but everything here, here and here. Okay, I'm three points short. What's this? Okay, I'm not sure which uh, territory that is. It should really be easier to tell, like, which territory is which. Oh, 
I have no idea what this is. I actually have no idea what that is. It's pointing on his capital, but I already got that. Okay, that makes no sense. Like, what the heck is it pointing at? Maybe I'll just wait one more turn to get a more war score. It was but a trifle. The written word. All right, let's just wait one more turn at least. I'm sure I can attack something like these guys. Uh, yep. Maybe, or just attack the next city to the east. Uh, no, I can't do that either. Okay, I'm too far away to attack anything on this turn. That's way too expensive. One more turn. Okay, got the Sydney Opera House. Let's attack this stack here. Yeah, okay, he will run away. That is still a little bit of uh, war support for me. You are busy, I can see that. But I promise. Okay, in 257. Uh, is it the same as before? So the capital. 70 left. Okay. 47 left. Okay, that's not too bad. I think that's a decent deal right there. Uh, here's the whole map. That's me. Right here. The green was most of this. <laughs> now, not so much. All right, that's a good deal. Let's yeah, accept so it. Our... All right, another era star. This is some hardcore border go right now. So what do I want to attach to what? Uh, Kerma already has quite a lot of territory. 4,000 to attach to Axum. Let's change this to expert policy first. So production, uh, science, gold, food. Yep. And what do we do here? Uh, stability looks good. 134% surplus. I can just get some units. Don't really need much infrastructure. He already took care of that, apparently. Uh, yeah, let's just get City Watch. Probably don't need it, but might as well. And get out of here. I might have to just wipe him out entirely. I'm not sure yet. I don't have that much time left. It's 
it would take more than one war to wipe him out. But I might have to do that. I suppose we'll see. Okay, San Lorenzo needs a hamlet. Oh, <laughs> pearls, right. I'm looking like, where the heck is this resource? It's all the way up here. All right. Okay, let's get some signs. Sixty one percent stability surplus. Uh, that's not as much. Okay, forty three science, that's good. Wait, why are there rebels over here? That's my rebels as well? Uh, that's from when I was at war. Right, yeah, let's just take care of them really quick. I don't want them roaming around. That's bad. Nice try, bro. Okay, done. Get out. So, what do we do in Kerma? Uh, get some garrisons. So, all the way down here, definitely. In case I'll need to recruit units down there. <coughs> Maybe, like, over here. And one more up here or so. Okay, that will do. Just to have more flexibility with unit recruitment. I can probably afford one more arms factory. But not too many more than that. I think I have five right now. I have six right now. So that will be seven. you for some reason okay yep i can make some more demands right so this might trigger a war immediately which i don't want just yet i want at least a little bit of extra war support here and actually we should just position right next to the cities again so that i can attack them right away so back north we go I will try to just wipe him out entirely, but we'll see how that will go. How's the research going? Uh, oh yeah, steam engine is almost done, then we can hook up all the coal. And I do have a lot of coal. Okay, let's get some research quarters. I don't have too many, actually. It definitely wouldn't hurt. There's steam engine, nice. So next up is propeller. And then combustion engine to get oil. Okay, and then maybe I can get some biplanes. And then aerial warfare, maybe? 
Oh yeah, we could also unlock uh, the tank here, Red Army tank. I don't have enough resources. And then I'll probably rush New York or something like that, because I do want to New York someone. You know, as is tradition. And no, I don't think there's any diplomatic penalty. Maybe there is one for using Neox? I'm not even sure. Not that I care too much whether uh, the Russians here uh, will break the alliance or not. Reverential. We are much more powerful than them. Damn right we are. Oh yeah, let's connect the coal. Where is it? Uh, down here. And one more. Okay. I suppose I can build some train stations, but maybe later. Another one there. Uh, there's only one left. Enables a fitting stage event, which periodically lets you allocate uh, the effect between bonus money, influence or stability. Okay, I guess I can claim it. Why the heck not? It's more fame, if nothing else. Okay, so now I can make some demands again. Uh, he has some pretty decent units here, but I have better. I guess I can send this stack as well. It's not like it has anything better to do. Okay, let's get some more line infantry. So one more here. And that's not worth it right now. I guess the food here is good regardless. Alright, let's make the demands. Those of honest intent may have my call ahead. Okay, yep, so declare war. That's fine. Is. No problem. See, he wanted it. I just made a demand. I didn't want to go to war, he made me. See, look at what you made me do. It's all his fault. Okay, pretty awkward spot, but it's fine. Oh, full free starts on this guy now. Nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's a kill. There you go. I want to move in with the free star guy. There it is. Nice. Go in. Bye bye. <laughs> yep. And then I also have that dug in effect. The dug in effect is pretty OP if you can't remove it. You're kind of screwed if your opponent has that and you can't remove it. Or vice versa, he's screwed. if you have it and he can't remove it. Okay, he's joining in with other units to the east. Which doesn't matter, I guess? And not really. We'll kill all of them, it's fine. How come my guy's here? Okay, no, I can also join with them. I just need to move a little bit. Sure. Why not? Everyone wants to be in the party. There it is. 
a little bit of help has arrived. And let's move the mortar first. Back here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this star is outside of the battlefield, which means I can't deploy on that one. Here, that's fine. Uh, more mortars. That is a lot of units. Yeah, okay, I don't think he stands a chance. He wanted the units to the east to join this fight, so hey, they did. Yep, he asked for it. Uh, let's see then. Move in. And I can grab the flag on the next turn. He dead. Right, he also has a dug in effect, but I can remove that with the mortars. Uh, I think that's it for this turn. Yep. Yeah, diplomacy in this game can be a bit weird sometimes. He's not had enough yet. There it is, we're done. All right. How quickly will we be done? Minus 20 from units lost. Yeah, we'll be done pretty quickly here. And no, not interested. So which city has the most problems with stability? 20% surplus. 9% surplus. Might be this one. Tlatilko. Uh, yep. Okay, so let's just build it here. I think it has to be next to the administrative center. Yep. Okay, that's fine. He's coming back for more. Okay, buddy. Wish granted. Okay, so first, uh, let's bombard the entrenched units, like so, and this one, and this one. One down, and in we go. <laughs> I don't even need to deploy more, this is fine.
He does have a bunch of units here. Sorry, buddy. Not going to help you. And got the flag. How is he not dead yet here? If, okay. Apparently not. He's trying. He did a good damage to my three star guy. Now, oh, actually, he managed to kill one unit. There. Uh, I think we're done now. Yep. I think he'll be at zero, like, on the next turn. Yeah, he will be at zero on the next turn, literally. Alright then. I can probably take at least one more city. Maybe two more. We shall see about that. Okay, let's finish the stadium ASAP. Yep, he's at zero already. Uh, I'm not surprised. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's grab the city up here. Uh, mostly for war score. Not because I plan to keep it. Uh, that was actually a mistake, but it's fine. And not that it makes a difference. I got it. And I might be too far away for anything else. Unless I wait an extra turn. Let's see how much we can actually take from him. I can keep doing this for a while. And I would know you better. It was but a trifle. Please, carry on with your day. Okay, so what can we take? Carthage, I guess. Which is uh, this one. Okay, I don't want too many cities all at the same time. But I suppose I can just ransack some of them. Uh, they have been useful for like extra war score. But I could ransack one of them. And just build a normal outpost. Uh, this territory has two oil. So, I want a lot of oil, and I want him to not have it. So, we'll take the oil away from him. That's 90 more. I can just keep passing on Sirmium, to be honest. So, with this, Sirmium will be basically completely surrounded. It might be useful to get, like, a quick ward score later on. So, that works. What else? Okay, that's 66 left. Okay, that looks good to me. Your support. <laughs> well, uh, that was fast. So, okay, now I probably want to just remove this city here. And attach the territory to Carthage. Or other way around, it doesn't really matter. Uh, probably other way around. 
because Carthage has less population. I could use up that population by getting a quick unit out. But I don't think I care enough, to be honest. How quickly would that happen? Okay, three turns. I don't think I care enough. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, it will take three turns to finish it and I'll be getting one pop per turn. <laughs> so let's just remove Carthage. Because absorbing it is still way too expensive. I was hoping they will lower this cost in the update, but that didn't happen. So it's still way more efficient to just ransack the city and then build an outpost and then attach it. Yeah, I don't particularly care about this part here. So just ransack it, then I'll build my own outpost and then we'll attach it. All right, I'm at 12k here. And in a few turns, we can just go to war again, because why not? I can keep doing this. I might keep doing it until I just wipe him out entirely. I might have to wipe him out. All right, I do have to queue something up. Otherwise, I can't end the turn. There's propeller. Uh, oh, I need uh, one more turn of influence. Whoops. Uh, that's slightly awkward. I guess we'll wait one more turn then. No problem. Uh, here's some line infantry. I got a lot of troops now. Okay. Uh, hopefully he won't uh, grab this while I'm waiting for my influence. Uh, that would be kind of bad. I don't think he will, but it's technically possible. One hundred seventy-seven percent stability surplus. Okay, looks good to me. Mm, how about some more industry? Educate. Plus twenty-five science. Five thousand gold. I'm making almost 4,000 gold per turn. I guess I can afford that. Okay, uh, let's grab that outpost right away. Before he can. Oh, yep, he's coming here. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. Oh, I'm still uh, less than 100 influence away. I thought I'll have enough on this turn. But I actually did not have enough. All right. I do also have one extra slot in my army now. I should probably use it. I'll have fewer stacks to move around. Okay, let's keep an eye on the eastern side in case he moves in with some units. Okay, now I definitely have enough, so let's grab it right away, before anything funny happens. That'll do, then I can attach it for 22, and there we go. And then I just need to save up some influence. Eh, not too much to get one more. Alright, uh, the stadium is almost done. What do I even need in this city? Not a lot. It has some garrisons already. It has a good stability. 
I could actually start building some train stations. And that might come in handy. Or get more signs. Okay, let's get some signs, because some of the research is a little bit slow now. I would like to speed it up. I need all the things from contemporary era uh, that will give me a lot of fame. Because he's actually still ahead in fame. He had a lot of fame hoarded up. Which is part of the reason why I'm attacking him. Uh, that's not great, but that's only one city. Okay, there's the stadium. Alright, I do have one garrison over here, but let's maybe get at least one or two more. Uh, just in case it gets blocked or something like that. It's possible. Plus 10% gold. Oh yeah, this is where I can pick the effect for the stadium. A plus 10% influence for the empire. Yep, uh, that is nice. And that's literally what I needed in my current situation. Uh, Alright, let's see how quickly we can go to war again. Uh, I can't make demands yet. So I guess not yet. That's fine. Well, technically, I could always declare Surprise War, which will give me a Traitor Badge, but perhaps I don't care. He doesn't have that much territory left, but this will take at least a few more wars, I think. Yep. What's Kerma doing? Uh, nothing at the moment. Okay, let's get some train stations all the way down here, so that I'll be able to get down here quickly with my main army. Uh, yep. So right next to that Gary zone over here, that's one. Here, here, and somewhere here, uh, roughly in the middle. That'll do. And that's all of them. Okay. And then in Axum. So, same story. Okay, good. That should help me move around faster. Uh, let's get some signs then, shall we? Plus 48 signs, yep. 70 pop in Tlatilico. Uh, it will need another hamlet soon, if I can still build that. Uh, hook up some more coal. Uh, hey, Bastios! How you doing? Uh, more coal. <laughs> I have so much coal here, like more than usually. Hey, by the way, once I'm done with this game, I already have uh, the next Civ game rolled uh, for anyone who's not my Discord 
it's pretty interesting. I think Misa already played it, so he can comment. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one, I can tell you as much. Okay, one more arms factory should be fine. Yeah, the Bolivar update had some uh, good quality of life changes. Uh, war definitely feels better now. And while the stability penalty for staying at war after your enemy drops to zero is pretty harsh, it's minus 30 stability per turn in all your cities. It's actually an option now. So previously it already sucked if you were forced to end the war right before taking another city, for example. Now you can just stay at war as long as you want, but you'll just get minus 30 stability per turn everywhere. So that extended one of my wars earlier by five turns, basically. I had minus 150 at the end, but I handled it. And uh, the other thing that was infuriating before uh, was the sortie. Now when you attack a city, uh, the defender cannot use sortie until you choose to maintain the siege. So you will no longer attack a city, but you're actually the defender, which was kind of stupid. <laughs> and there are a few other changes. Uh, like you can actually see how many yields exactly you'll get by building various infrastructure. So plus 36 science when I build uh, the printing house here. So some really good quality of life changes. There are a few things that I still find annoying. My biggest complaint about humankind now is something that probably won't change because it's like too integral to the whole game, uh, which is fame and uh, victory conditions. It's There's only really one victory condition, fame. That's the only way you can win. You need to have the most fame, that's it. Everything else is the end condition. So what triggers the game to actually end, not like in Civ. So even if you like send a Mars expedition, that doesn't mean you win, that just means the game ends. Somebody else might still win if they have more fame than you do. So I don't like that too much because one of my favorite parts of Civ is winning as the underdog, which I'm sure you can relate to, uh, judging from many of your streams. But I like being able to win from behind. You can play some like pretty crazy games as a result of that. In Humankind you can't really do that, that's not really possible. So that's one thing I don't really like. I prefer the way Civ does it. So actual victory conditions, not end conditions. So imagine in Civ, uh, if you are the one who finishes the space project, for example, uh, but the AI wins because they had more score than you do. That would be pretty stupid, right? But that's how humankind works and I don't like it. But. Uh, that's my biggest complaint about the game, at this point, basically. I don't think I have any other major complaints. But it's a pretty big one. You can just not care, obviously. You can pretend you won anyway. Okay, that's a bit expensive. Uh, there are a few other things which I think they should work on. So, influence. The influence costs for civics are still insane. For example, I'm sitting on uh, eight enactable civics, but there's absolutely no way I can enact them, because just the next one alone would cost me 21,000. And absorbing cities is still prohibitively expensive. It's still way easier to just ransack your own city. I had Carthage right here, which I captured. So I ransacked the city and then just attached it to uh, Dongola because otherwise it was like, I don't know, 20,000 or something? It was way too much. So they need to uh, do like a balance pass on everything that uses influence, at least in my opinion. 
because he's clearly like a bit off. And sure, you can pick up some cultures that can give you massive amounts of influence, but you shouldn't have to, you know? There shouldn't be that much of a difference between regular cultures and influence-focused cultures. Not to the point where I'm sitting on eight enactable civics and I will likely not be able to unlock them for the rest of this game. That's just kind of weird. And I would still like to see units move faster on the map. <laughs> Maybe I'm just impatient, but I don't like watching these animations, damn it. I just want them to move faster. That's more of a personal complaint. <laughs> but I remember telling them that, uh, like, before the game was even released. And they said, like, it's not th that easy, uh, because the over... Uh, like the global map movement speed is tied to the simulation speed. So they can do it in combat, in actual battles, uh, but apparently they can't easily do it on like the strategic view because it's tied to simulation to, or something like that. It would break the game if they just changed a setting to make it faster. But uh, they didn't roll out making it happen in the future, so I'm still hoping maybe it will happen. Okay, Hamlet. But I think that sums up uh, all my complaints about humankind at this stage. Well, there are still a few things that feel odd. Uh, they're not necessarily an actual problem, strictly speaking. But one thing that's a little bit odd uh, for me is how quickly you can progress through the cultures while being massively behind uh, in tech. Because if you just rush through the cultures, you will never get enough science to keep up uh, in technology progress. So you can easily have a contemporary era culture and uh, your most advanced technologies are, like, from three eras ago, you know? Like in my case, for the most part. So that feels a little bit odd. And of course, you can skip basically half the tree. Like, I know that was a deliberate decision, but it's also a little bit odd, I think. It's, it's odd. Yeah, I know you shouldn't rush cultures because of fame, but the fact is possible and you can do it. It's just kind of weird. But sometimes it does make sense to rush them. I mean, if your plan is to wipe out everyone, then you don't care about fame, you know? You just care about getting the best militaristic cultures so that you can kick everyone's ass. Especially since there are certain cultures where uh, you get to use uh, their unique unit without any technology requirement, which can give you a massive military advantage. Okay, I... well, okay, maybe I do want that, actually. Attach territories with gold. Yeah, I think I actually do want that. Yep. So, there are still a few left to attach. Right here. Wipe out everyone is the plan in every game. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so let's attach this. Uh, oh yeah, get the oil, since we just got that. Uh, okay, 69 turns left. I still need to wipe him out. If, if you... Well, I do not have an excuse to go to war yet. If I have to, I'll just declare surprise war. And overall, I still like Civ 6 more. <laughs> it's fun to play this uh, from time to time, but I still prefer Civ 6, not gonna lie.
Okay, so I could rush the Red Army tank. Yeah, alright, let's do that. I have more than enough oil. And we can get it directly now. So tell me, how are you today? Okay, I think I might actually have to go for Surprise War. I don't have an easy excuse to use anymore. Okay. Oh, uh, that would be pretty awkward. Uh, Hamlet right there. Alright, let's just get anything that gives me science. 67 turns. If you seek a great yeah, I don't really want to get a traitor badge, but maybe I don't really care. Oh, pacifist. While having this badge, maintaining a war against its owner costs more war support per turn, based on the level of the badge. Right, right. That's not great, to be honest, but okay. Not necessarily what I wanted to see. Alright, let's connect Axum with a railroad. Okay, that's that. Achieve 12 Builder Era Stars in a single game. Well, there we go. Got that apparently. More Era Stars. He still has 15,000 fame here. And I'm at 12 out of 21 already. But the remaining few will take much longer. I don't think I need more units at this point. Science. How's my science now? Okay, five and a half thousand per turn. I would like to get Neox before we're done with this, but I'm not that close just yet. Uh, yeah, right here. I'm not that close, but we'll see. Maybe I can get it done. I'll try. There's the tank. Friend, you look well. All those of honest intent. Okay, there we go. At war with the Russians. All right. Lord population into Sirmium. Uh, okay, let's make some demands, and we can go to war. Yield quickly and with luck. Good. So I did get an excuse after all. Let's see how much I can take. So we will grab Sirmium right away. And I would like to remove some administrative centers. We'll see about that. And here's a stack. Will he fight? Uh, nope, he will not. Alright. We can attack Napata right away though. So let's do that. So now he will have decent defenses in here, but I think he can handle it. I can probably send help. Yep, I can. Easily. All 
Okay, let's see then. I keep more tards in the back. Block the way. So the flag is right here. I can take it on the first turn. Yep. There it is. Got the flag. That didn't take long. I don't think he'll be able to kill anything. Nope. He cannot. In we go. I'm about to win anyway. Bye-bye. Uh, back up with the one that we got. Are we winning? I think we're winning. It's funny because at the start it technically said his side is stronger. <laughs> not for long, it's not. Okay, done. Plus 22 gained. And he lost 22. Uh, Alright. So that gives me Napata. Let's see. Okay, he still has a bunch of territory to the south. Uh, that part will probably require one more war for sure. Oh, uh, I have a stack in San Lorenzo. I forgot about these guys. Right? And they could probably use a mortar or two to be more effective. But I can use them, why not? Can I get a mortar quickly in here? How long will that take? I also wouldn't mind uh, the tank, but I still need the oil. So free turn for a mortar. Uh, Laventa can get one as well. Okay, I suppose I can wait. So, what's next for research? We got continuous track. I guess I could just get uranium really quick. And then nuclear fission. I could try to rush nukes. It will take a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, okay, it will probably take a while, actually. Because I need not only the nukes, but also the delivery. Uh, I don't remember which technology that was. Uh, right here. Missile silo. So uh, that will take longer. But let's at least unlock uranium. Might as well. And also I'll get fame for getting research institute. Alright, where do you think you're going? Yeah, let's heal up here, just pay the gold. 
He actually wants to fight. All right. Fine by me. How's that working out for you? <laughs> well, that was quick. Yeah, he'll be at zero pretty quickly again. No refuse. There's just no way to make. Not yet, but he'll go to zero pretty quickly once I start taking cities. Uh, let's grab Sirmium real quick. Uh, just need to be a bit more careful. Oh yeah, this is uh, not the best positioning of all times. And that's actually pretty bad positioning. <laughs> uh, yes, yes it is. I had a bigger battlefield previously because I had more armies nearby. Now it's just one. Okay, mortar in the back. It's still enough to take it. He's killing himself on my line infantry, basically. Okay, done. Got it. So then we're going south. I would like to grab Avaris here. So that's where we're going next. I think two stacks can probably handle it. But just to be safe. I don't think he has a whole lot of troops left, but he does have line infantry. So you never know. And at some point he might get upgraded uh, home guards. Uh, the ones with actual ranged attack. Which would make taking his cities a bit more annoying. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, the mortar to join that other army and then I can send this stack east okay so more science why not I'm almost in range to attack. I will be on the next turn. This is probably a bit of an overkill. But hey, I want to make sure, alright? Okay, how far away is that other stack? Eh, not super close. Okay, let's go for this city and then they can join up. And that seems reasonable. Uh, he has some units guarding it. Okay, I'm not attacking it yet. I'll attack it with both of the stacks. This is where faster movement would come in handy when using the railroads. Are these rebels? Uh, yeah, that's his rebels. Get out of here. I'm not dealing with your rebels. Okay, I'm keeping influence because I guess I still need that. I can use it for some civics, if nothing else. I need what? 26,000 influence for a single civic. 
yeah, the cost is uh, just a little bit too much at this stage of the game. It's kind of crazy. Okay, there's Research Institute. Uh, right, so he's at zero already, but I want at least one more city. So we are taking one more city. Okay, this shouldn't take long. <laughs> yep, this is definitely overkill. But hey, I like overkill. Okay, he has some embarked reinforcements, apparently. Well, one down already. That didn't take long. Goodbye. Now he does have some ships here. Uh, some pretty decent ones, alright. It's not going to help him. But hey, he's trying. That is actually a decent strategy. Because they do have 53 combat strength. Okay, he has a lot of crap here. Uh, I might want to move the mortar away a little. Yeah, let's take the flag really quick. Okay, that will do. So grab the flag. They would have been much better in an earlier stage of the game, but not so much now. Oh, there's one more guy here. And not anymore. Oh, he's going to lose a lot of war support. Because I'll be destroying a lot of units. How many did he build? Okay, a lot apparently. Alright. If he gets lucky, maybe he will kill a single unit of mine. But that's about it. That's a big if. A very big if. Like this dude, but he's still dug in. And he cannot remove that effect. At least I don't think so. Yeah, I won. Plus 40 war support. Yep. Uh, that is a lot. Okay. Well, uh, that is what I needed. So the plan is to basically take everything up here and then I'll need one more war to wipe him out entirely. He is also at war with my ally, with the Russians. So perhaps the Russians will wipe him out, that would also be good. Let's see how much I can take, I want as much as possible. So force surrender and let's see. So uh, Napata is here. Avaris. And that's four left. Okay, so he will still keep a uh, Sirmium, but that's alright. And I'll take this entire corner of the map right here. So uh, that sounds good enough to me. 
Yep, that's something good enough. And I can already make a demand. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, that is kind of hilarious. It may be difficult to stomach. Oh, hey, hey, thanks for the gifted memberships, Miso. And uh, also, for anyone who doesn't know, if you haven't enabled it, in order to receive one while it's in beta, you have to click on the notification in chat and then enable it uh, once per channel. It will work like that while it's in beta, because it's still technically in beta. He wants to trade with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so, bro. Why don't I just take everything you have and then trade it to myself? How's that? So, I'm probably just going to remove Avaris and uh, we'll attach it to Napata. Because I'm way over my CP cap, as you can see. <laughs> like, way over my cap. In fact, I might want to get a tech uh, that will increase my CT cap. What am I researching right now? Uh, uranium. So what's the next tech that will increase my CT cap? Hold on a second. Has to be somewhere here. Where is it? Uh, which icon is it? Oh yeah, right here. Urban planning. And anything else on the way? I think that's the only one here. Okay, I think it's basically urban planning. I can't get it too quickly, but I should probably get it. Okay, so let's get it then. I might have to remove more than one city, but we shall see about that. Anyway, while he's at war with the Russians, I have a convenient excuse to go to war again. And then I'll be the fame leader by quite a significant margin. And then we can just rush to the end. And that's pretty much the plan. More or less. Okay, right, so the plan with Avaris is to just remove it. Like I said. How much to actually absorb it? Yeah, 63,000 gold because I switched it to gold instead of influence. I could technically afford it, but why do that when I can just remove it, start an outpost and then attach it? Sure, I lost some population, but I don't care nearly enough about that. Okay, now I can just go elsewhere. Might be good to get that island over there, because there's a good chance he will settle it, if I don't. And then I would have to go there and actually take it, uh, which would be a waste of time. Yeah, I'm getting a massive penalty right now, because I'm over cap. 2560 penalty right now, because I'm at 12 out of 6 allowed. Okay. Encyclopedia. Minus 20% cost of an acting civic. Yeah, it's still way too expensive, even with that. 19.5 thousand. Way too expensive still. Okay, so let's grab this again, like so. Then I can attach it to Napata. Do I uh, remove anything else? I am in positive influence now, so it should be fine. I guess I'll keep Napata. Wait, what? What's attacking me? 
Oh, uh, somebody's rebels. Uh, okay, that's slightly irritating. I don't have any troops nearby. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I do have it stuck. Yeah, that's not my rebels. Get out of here. Why is he not attacking? Oh, it's... yeah, battle orders are locked. As the targeted unit is already executing a pending order. No, he's not. He's not executing shit. Okay, I thought that that was fixed, but apparently it was not. And that's a bit unfortunate. But alright. I guess I don't really have to send my entire stack there. Okay, they are still executing it. Uh, usually it fixes itself after a while, but I might have to save and reload. Uh, yeah, I might have to save and reload. Hello? Okay, yep, yeah, I think I have to save and reload. So, save. That should fix it. Okay. That's better. And we win. Uh, right, so let's not send this entire stack because that's just unnecessary. Maybe I can get rid of these ships. Uh, right, I can't attack him like this. So I'm not needed in this area anymore. I'll wait a few turns and then we can just declare again. Minus 25 stability. A plus 30 science. Okay, science. Keep going. I mostly want this island to prevent him from getting it. Because if he takes it, then I would have to go and capture it in order to wipe him out. And the plan is to wipe him out. Alright, you guys just go west. Is he still at war with the Russians? It's hard to tell, maybe. Okay, and then I can disembark on the next turn. I suppose I could keep one stack behind just in case some rebels pop up from somebody else, from one of my neighbors. Right, attach that and I'll keep Napata. I can handle it.
would be nice to connect my territory here, but I can't do that easily. So, 77 pop. And let's get some tanks. Up here. Okay, three turns for a tank. Alright, let's get a bunch, why not? It won't hurt. It'll speed things up. And I can afford it. Oh, uh, I actually have a bunch of Karaks here that I completely forgot about. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, shit. That gives me a few steam frigates. Now I can actually attack him here and probably win. So I'm keeping one stuck here for defensive purposes. And everyone else is moving south. Hopefully one more war will be enough, but I might need two more wars. I suppose we'll find out. All right, let's connect oil uh, up here, up here, and one more coal. Okay. Uh, Laventa can get a tank or two. More oil. Yeah, free oil just in this one single city. That's what I like to see. Lightning in a bottle. This new power will imp Oh yeah, that's because of electricity. Okay. I would think uh, we needed electricity for a while. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have some technologies that imply uh, that you kind of need to know what the heck electricity is. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me. It is kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, shit. You can get all of this down here without knowing what electricity is, which is kind of weird. You can literally research nuclear fission for a nuclear plant without getting electricity. Like, how do you build a nuclear plant when you don't know what the heck electricity is? Good question. I think that would be kind of hard. All right, get that outpost. Uh, yeah, send the tanks east. Yeah, I'm just going to queue up some cheap infrastructure and to save time on City Micro. Uh, hamlet. 52 food from a hamlet. Okay, not bad. This city has 712 excess food. That's insane. I wasn't even doing anything in particular to get that. Uh, right, I still have one territory to attach. Uh, okay. 194% surplus. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Kerma is now losing some food. And the tank can wait then. And that's 30. Okay, that will be enough. And then we can continue the tank.
I suppose the best guy can just stay here permanently. It's okay, it's just one unit in the end. So, do we have a good excuse? Yes, we do. Not much point waiting much longer. I mean, I want to finish this as soon as possible, because there's not that much time left. So, let's just do it right away. I'm not hey, I'm not declaring war, I'm just making demands, alright? He's the one who's refusing, it's clearly not my fault. We have a he wanted it. Don't look at me. Alright, there's the tank, it already moved this turn. Uh, so one stack to get Sirmium again. I can probably take that last. Yeah, just to optimize a uh, war score. Okay, five units might not be able to take this on their own here. I'm pretty sure I'll need more than one war. Like one more after this one. I don't think I'll be able to wipe him out now. Alright, let's do this really quick. Uh, he's still using draftees, that's good. In we go. Bombard him a little. Yeah, by good excuse, I basically mean any excuse, pretty much. Any excuse is good. Uh, how is he still alive? There's a unit somewhere still. <laughs> and I'm not seeing it. Alright. Where the heck does he have a unit? What? I'm not seeing anything. Has to be down here. No. It doesn't matter, we're about to win. Oh, he had one to the north, I think. Okay, so there it is. He only has three more territories after this. Or is this one? No, this is two. So, three more territories. Eh, okay, maybe the one war will be enough. It's hard to tell. Uh, some musketeers over here. Let's go handle that. A, a tank. Nice. I'll use that. Now the railroad will help. Okay, now the railroad will come in handy. Okay, that's that. Merged. Another tank. So, same story. Uh, I'll use that railroad again. And another tank. Alright, I'm just going to key up some infrastructure to keep these cities busy. That'll do. Okay, so one more. Uh, two more. Is this a city or just an administrative center? No, this is just... No, this is a city. Why can I... I can attack it. Okay, uh, that was a bit weird. So, uh, there's the tank. Yeah, this won't take long. Mortars in the back. Okay, good enough.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, the tank is pretty nice. Alright, and now he just has Sirmium, so that's it. I just need a stack. Come on, slackers. Will he go to zero? Not welcome here. And not yet, but pretty close. Alright. Yeah, so let's go towards Sirmium right away. Oh yeah, I can attack it right now. Nice. Go, go, go. Merge the tanks. Are we there yet? And got the tank as reinforcements. Here you go. In we go. <laughs> I already killed half the defenders. Just passing by, indeed. And he helped me out by killing himself on my line infantry. So that's that. Now he has nothing left on the map. So let's see if I can actually get everything. Or not. Hopefully. We got 51 turns left. Probably less, because I don't think we'll get to the last turn. We definitely won't. A keep influence, that's good. Okay, so let's take a look. My time, let alone trust. Okay, yeah, I can't even vassalize him. So I think we need one more. Yeah, we'll need one more war. So, yeah, hold on. Let me see. Oh, he has one more territory down here. Okay. That's not going to help him. Seventy nine left. Okay, I like him keep Sirmium. Oh, I'm literally one. Ward score short, really? Come on! I suppose I could maybe wait one turn. Oh, hey, hold on, I can still attack this dude right here. Not sure if that will give me ward score. Okay, manual battle. I need to win with no casualties. Which should be easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, done. No, it's still seventy nine. I was simply testing. Well, that's annoying. Maybe if I wait one more turn, I could go all the way down here and take this, but I don't think I can do it quickly. I would need three turns. Maybe. Okay, I suppose I can give it a shot. Napata. Alright, let's just build whatever.
Okay, let's keep going and get uranium enrichment. Another star. Uh, yeah, true. I guess I could pillage stuff. That might not be a bad way to do it. Okay, so let's pillage both of these territories. Maybe I can actually uh, finish it. I will be taking 30 stability penalty per turn, uh, which is not great. But I think I can handle it. I should be able to handle it. There's uranium enrichment. So nuclear fusion next. Might as well grab that. I kick this guy out. Okay, keep going south. I'm not stopping to attack him. I need to get here ASAP. And take that city. So I think next turn. And I guess I could also uh, run Saxirmium, but that will take an extra turn now, or two turns. Two turns, two turns. Alright, let's see if this is enough or not. Hopefully it's enough. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware a war can be ended. We're working on it, alright? That didn't take long. Okay, need to wait one more turn. Okay, ransacking this would take a bit too long. But let's get started just in case I'll have to do it. I will get a pretty harsh stability penalty, but if I have to wait extra two turns, I'll just wait extra two turns. Okay, done. Oh, uh, this is not done. Okay. So grab it right away. Is this enough? Let's find out if it's enough. Force surrender. And no, I need to ransack more stuff. Okay, whatever, we will, it's fine. Oh yeah, great. Soviet rebels near Sirmium. Tanks as well. Okay, one tank and four line infantry. I don't care too much, but it's slightly annoying. Yeah, that one unit will probably just keep running away. Uh, more science. Oh yeah, we can finish Empire State Building.
Ok, that's... Uh, oh, Blow claimed it. <laughs> uh, that's a little bit road, but alright, I don't really care enough, to be honest. I just wanted it gone, that's it. Uh, two turns to pillage. And one turn. Okay, uh, one turn. Attach this to something. Oh, yeah, hostile army. And this one. And not for long, he'll be gone soon. There's nuclear fission. Okay, tell me this is enough already. Uh, okay. You are generous and well appreciated. So he doesn't have anything left as far as I'm aware, just some units. And there isn't really anywhere available to settle. Okay, I'll have to fight this manually because I might lose units otherwise. Yeah, I'm very generous, indeed. Always have been. Come on. Oh, is it bugged again? My mortars are not shooting. Okay, whatever. Okay, there's some weird visual glitch going on here. Okay, apparently I can't use my mortars. There, he's dead anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, reclaim that. And uh, I can attach it to something later. I guess Axum. There you go, done. So what about the research? So if I want to use any Neox, I'll need rocket science. I suppose we can just beeline for that. And I also need 20,000 influence. So I'll need a city cap. Or I'll need to remove a city somewhere. Okay, maybe not, but it will take a while at 238 per turn. And claim that territory. Okay, that's a good one. Untouch it to Kerma. I will listen to you if I must. Can he actually start a city somewhere? Maybe he has one somewhere on like the shitty islands inside the fog. I'm not sure. I suppose it's possible. I might have to chase down his units though. Well, he has two over here. He did have some ships. Oh yeah, he has one unit here. Okay, I can chase that down. But I expect him to run away. 
Yeah, and another one. So I will have to get rid of that. Uh, okay, he will fight. No, he will not fight me. Okay. Interesting. I might need to get some ships. So how about we do that? One turn, good. 54. And torpedo boat. I don't have uranium yet. Okay, this should help. Hopefully this is all he has left. Okay, and this dude. Got him. Oh yeah, I wiped him out. So the ships don't matter, just land units. Bye bye. Uh, all right then. So now we can focus more on actually finishing the job. Okay, five hundred per turn is probably fine. I think you can live with that. Uh, so production, science, gold, food. Oh, also, hold on. Uh, there's a project I can run for fame. Yeah, right here. That was from uh, World Wonder earlier in the game. Probably should have run that earlier, but I guess better later than never. Now I need some text uh, that will give me more fame. But we are almost done, basically. Oh yeah, uranium, right. Uh, I should definitely hook that up. Uh, what other city has uranium? A few cities had that. Uh, up here, yeah, so grab that. And another one. Move it up the queue. And there's one in La Venta. Okay, that's enough. Uh, keep influence bonus. Uh, we are almost done. I don't need these ships anymore. <laughs> nope. Uh, let's get an aerodrome, why the heck not? Okay, aerial warfare. So now we can hook up some more resources. There you go. Where else do I have that? Uh, here. I need at least three hooked up. And here. Okay, that's probably already enough. More stability. So wait, what are we researching exactly? 
Oh yeah, I was going to rush uh, rocket science. Hold on, hold on. Maybe not. Uh, let's finish radar because that's only one turn away now. Might as well let it finish. Wait, what does the airport do again? Oh yeah, rapid deployment uh, of military resources. Uh, I guess I can get a few. Right, so I need some techs uh, that will help me get fame. A space station. Yeah, so I need the rocket science one way or the other, I guess. Okay, fine. Not sure after that. A communication satellites, right? That's worth fame. And I guess I could rush. Uh, like the final text after that. Okay, let's just get this done first and then we'll see. Uh, I don't think I can claim any more wonders. Nope, they are all claimed now. I think I have like at least one third of them. If not more than that. I do have a lot. Okay, another star. And what stars do I need? So, okay, scientist stars. Oh, I have 17 out of 21 already. And after that is just influence. Okay, okay. So this will actually be done like pretty soon. Okay. And let me see Laventa again. Yeah, let's spam this fame project here. Because I could use that for sure. I should have done that earlier, no dub. Okay, more aluminum. Okay, two turns to finish rocket science, I need that. And fast. Okay, we can build a nuclear plant in the capital, that's fine. And some hamlets. Wait, what? Oh, uh, rebels. That's not my rebels. But alright. And they have a tank. Not quite sure where did where these guys came from. It's a medium tank. That's one of my neighbors, no doubt. Well, clearly they need to do a better job with their stability. I shouldn't have to deal with their rebels. Uh, he's not dead yet. Okay, got rocket science. Let's get that done right away. What's actually my highest industry city? Is it the capital? No. Uh, 1400, that's my biggest city right here. Uh, 1600. So it's actually Napata. It's a city I captured. 
All right. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of territories I can untouch. Yeah, that's fine. I guess I can stay at 12 out of 7, but I wish I could get more. One of the cultures has plus 2 city cap bonus. That is a really good bonus. Uh, the Persians, was it? I really like that bonus. Oh yeah, more uranium here. I guess we can grab that. Right, so Napata is my highest production city and it's not even set to production. There, 1800. Nice. Okay, so one turn to build a space station. Uh, do I have a valid spot though? Because I might not. Uh, okay, I do not have a valid spot in Napata. It will have to go elsewhere. Oh yeah, uranium here. Okay, this is good. That was green for a moment. Here, okay, let's do that. Uh, we can do that in one turn. There it is. Pile everyone on the space station. Okay, the race is on indeed. So, Lunar Lander. And next. I just need a valid spot for that. Surely I have a spot somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. It should be a little bit easier to find it, but okay, whatever. That won't take long. Yeah, the pixel hunt game. The worst one is, I think, the ICBM, because it requires a much larger area. Keep influence. Okay, 14.1. Okay, more. Oh, yeah, the game will end in 30 turns, I'm already aware. So, a geosynchronous satellite. Uh, let's check Laventa real quick. Yeah, keep spamming this. Pixel hunt time, yeah, that's good. And this is a good spot. So I can do that in one turn. Okay. Polar satellite. Yep, it uh, doesn't really matter where everyone can contribute. And satellite network. Yeah, that works. Okay, so what else? And that's two tags away. Okay, let's get Neural Imprint then. Uh, that's also plus 100 stability in all cities. 
and plus 50 percent influence so i don't need some more influence for two more era starts here Okay, there it is. Oh yeah, and we got the deed. Uh, right, so I don't necessarily want the Mars colony yet, because that will trigger the end. What about Neox? Oh yeah, hold on, I need the Civic. A nuclear weapons, that's what I need. Uh, yep. Okay, let's do that. Then we can do fission test. Okay, okay, yeah, that's what I want. Obviously. There you go. That will also give me some fame. I know I don't have to spawn this with everyone, but that's just to speed things up. Okay. And then a fusion test. And maybe save this spot. Oh, yeah, up here. And that was green. Yep, okay, good. So fusion test for everyone. Okay. Now, uh, do I have enough space for ICBM? <laughs> this is the real pixel hunt. Uh, that's actually the annoying one to find a valid spot for. Yeah, I don't know if I have a viable spot for that. Maybe on one of the islands somewhere? Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, not really. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. In my capital. Perfect. Okay, so neural implant. There it is. Nuclear weapons test again. Okay. So I guess now I could do Mars Colony. Oh yeah, let's grab a missile silo. Uh, I can milk someone before we finish. I would have to declare surprise war in order to milk them. But I suppose I could. Alright, let's just grab a missile silo somewhere over here. Okay, I probably don't want to finish that too quickly. Uh, let me just make a save here. I don't remember if this ends the game right away or... Oh no, this triggers a narrative event. I think you still have to wait a while after this, right? I don't remember. 
which is why it made a save. Okay, neural implant. Oh, we have a choice. Right. Okay, 300 fame. Yeah, I'm still waiting for one silo to complete. Man, I have so many cities now. Uh, too many. Clearly. It takes too long to click all this shit. Right. Well, uh, I am in the lead now, so I basically won. Okay, well, uh, let's see some stats then, because we're pretty much done. Did I get that silo? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, can I just buy a nuke really quick? How much would that cost me? Uh, okay, I can. There we go. So I think I could declare war and nuke someone. Or do I have to like... Oh, I, th I think I have to wait one turn. I mean, we can always just reload the save and nuke someone, for tradition's sake. It's fine. Well, there it is. Uh, oh, the narrator is not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, because if you turn off the narrator during the game, it doesn't narrate at the end either, which is probably not intended. So, okay, let's see where he got the, so much fame. 3600. Best era early modern. Okay. He just stayed, uh, like, with full stars for a while. Way longer than I did. Yeah, that was you. You were green all along. Yeah. Imagine coming second and you're eliminated. Imagine coming first, but you were eliminated. Because it's technically possible. You can win while being dead. Technically. Which is the one thing I don't really like too much, because really, that shouldn't be possible. <laughs> imagine being second and losing to AI. Yeah, just imagine. Sorry, I can't imagine that. Okay, so let's see how he did for the errors. Okay, Nobians. Yeah, he already got quite a lot here, 2400. And, okay. More than doubled in classical.
Yeah, so 8800 by the end of medieval. And then early modern was his best era. So 12.4k. Uh, he did have like plus 10 production per uh, maker squatter bonus, which gives you a ton of extra production. Well, not you, the AI. <laughs> you can't get that bonus yourself. All right. Well, I came first anyway. That's what matters, right? So here's fame. That looks pretty funny. Food. Industry. Yeah, see, he had industry lead actually for a while. I only really passed him after turn 200. Gold. And that was quite a lot of gold here. Science. Influence. Mm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Population, uh, research, yeah, so he was actually ahead uh, in terms of uh, technologies, the number of technologies researched for quite a long time here. Trade, military, cities, all right, uh, so... Well, uh, do you guys want to nuke someone before we wrap it up for today? I guess we can, but that's it. That is the end. I guess we can nuke someone. I need to wait one turn, then set it up, and then wait another turn and um, before it fires. So we can wrap things up like that. All right, let's nuke pink. We can nuke Akkad or so. I think we can nuke these three cities all in one go. Oh, I think I can. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps we. Uh, yeah, let's just do surprise war. It doesn't matter. So nuclear strike. Yeah. Okay. I will destroy three cities in one nuke. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh, that is so good. All right, just queue up whatever. Another New York. Yeah, why not? All right, let's go. Here it comes. Wanna see a magic trick? I will make these cities disappear. And they're gone. <laughs> Nice. So I destroyed three cities in one nuke. That is pretty good. Right there. Alright, well, uh, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we're at 3 hours 15 minutes. So that's pretty decent. So next I'm going to do Civ 6. Like I mentioned earlier, I already have the game rolled on a pretty interesting map, and uh, that is still what got Lake's map, because that mod is just so good. But that's it for today, so uh, thanks for coming everyone, I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a like if you haven't. And uh, also, like I mentioned earlier, if or when I end up streaming a little bit on YouTube, it will be uh, like today, in similar hours. So generally late afternoon and evening European time, meaning somewhere between uh, 4 p.m. Somewhere after 4 p.m. start Central European, which is 10 a.m. Eastern. Not exactly 4 p.m., it might be a little bit later sometimes, but thereabouts. Okay, so again, uh, thanks for coming everyone, I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.